Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Sinking Ship Tutorial. Uh, as you can see, there's no um, image of a cat anymore, aka my YouTube profile picture. Uh, but, uh, as you can see, the Serenity has got a little upgrade. And yeah, I could have made this video earlier, but uh, yeah, I just decided to take a little break. Uh, anyway, uh, today we're going to be making... Yep, and uh, we're gonna be making uh, uh, distress rockets, which I have not. <laughs> See, it's a little bit laggy on my part, and I'm very sorry, but anyway, as you can see, we have interior. Uh, I'm gonna show you the boiler rooms. And yeah, there's the boiler rooms. As you can see, I think the water should be flooding. Yeah, as you can see, the water's flooding in now. Uh, yeah, everything is still intact. Oh, okay, by the way, uh, let's restart this real quick because, goddamn, this is very laggy. Uh, we're gonna make it a while, a while for us to at least show a little bit of the interior. But, um, yeah, so, um, we have, uh, upgraded the lifeboats, they, uh, launch out now, as you can see, so we can just launch, and the, we can lower, like this, we can release them like that, so, yeah, that's very cool, so it's not automatic anymore, um, yeah, so that's very cool. So it can go on and on and you can just release it like that. Um, uh, we also have interior, so let's go check that out. But we're just gonna look at the boiler rooms because we didn't really look at it. But we want we look in here. So here are the rooms, you know. Um, this is third class right here. We're gonna go to the boiler rooms now. Uh, up there, there's a launch, you know. Um, Here's the boiler rooms, um, very detailed, very nice, and here's the engine room, here's a one tight door, um, yeah, the engine room is very detailed, but, yeah, so, um, yes, so, yeah, so there's, there's that, uh, let's get started, uh, let's get started, yeah. All right, we're gonna be using. I'm gonna be using. What well, I'm gonna be using this rocket mod. This rocket uh, mesh right here. It's called the B2 model. Um, we're gonna rename it to. Okay, wait. There we go. Rocket. I just uh, got a little bit of a lag spike. Um, uh, we're gonna add a fire right here. Um, time scale. Uh, what is the time scale? I really don't know. Um, two, sure. Uh, eight minus nine. Okay. Point is, there's gonna be a fire when it goes up. Uh, we're gonna paint this red, like everything red. You know, so it looks like a distress rocket going up. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, we're gonna make it five the size, so it looks. Yeah, it looks good. Um, so what we're gonna do is gonna disable the fire. Um, we're it's not gonna be here the fire rocket, or I guess yeah, it would. It would. I, I guess it, it gonna. It's gonna be. Oh, I guess it's gonna be here. So, um, what else do I have to? do in order to make a distress rug. Huh, nothing else, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna call this, I'm gonna call this d d distress rocket, because this is gonna be the main part of the distress rocket. We're gonna anchor this part. Um, this part, I guess we can also anchor it. And we're gonna, you, we're gonna add a script in the rocket. Uh, make it 100 maybe. Uh, we're gonna do it one point. Yeah, we're gonna make it one 
there we uh, do that so uh, yeah let's test it out if it uh, works uh translate by oh yeah because okay let's uh oh okay uh we got to make it a model and make it rocket okay uh rocket and then go to the primary part there we go rocket okay so um cut this mesh i guess all right, in the script, uh, for i equals one to one hundred, I accidentally uh, copied this and pasted it without explaining anything. So this is for i equals one hundred. Do this is really like basically like how much it's gonna take for it, how much, how long it's gonna do this, and yeah. So this what they basically does translate by vector three dot new one. So this is the direction up, which is y, y plus or like y one. And you add the weight, and because otherwise it's gonna cause an error. Uh, let's see if it works. I think it will. It's not a valid member. Translate by is not a valid member of. Okay. I guess we're gonna add a part. I guess. In order for it to work, I guess. I'm gonna do this as the primary part. Yeah, as you can see, I'm not new. I'm I'm very new to making distress rockets. So we're gonna basically make it to that together. Uh, make this invisible. Can collide. No. All right, there we go. Now let's see if it works. If it doesn't, I really don't know why it doesn't. Oh wait, wait what? Oh yeah, because it's in the mess. Of course. Of course, of course it's gonna make. Of course, of course, of course. Oh, oh, oh! There it goes. There it goes. Yeah, as you can see, uh, very successful, very successful. Um, yes, yeah, so we're gonna call this main part again. Yeah, you know we're gonna name that a lot. Yeah. Uh, main part fire. Okay, so. So this we're gonna make it fifty two maybe three actually. There we go. Okay, so Alright, before you do this, you make it wait one second and then script dot parent dot main part which it goes script dot rocket. So it goes to the script, to the rocket, to the main part, and we're gonna go to the fire and enable it. So let's do that. Fire dot enabled equals True and yeah, so they so why didn't I add it here? Because it's gonna loop through that again and again. And I did that with the funnel collapsing, and uh, yeah, you can like with the ropes collapsing, and uh, you can kind of guess what happened. Little buggy, uh, anyway. So after this, we're gonna make script on parent dot main part dot. Dot transparency equals one, and then we're gonna do local new ex okay new explosion equals uh, part. What was it again? I kind of forgot. Yeah, sorry for this, but I'm gonna have to do this. Uh, give me a minute. All right, uh, I'm back. And uh, we're gonna do script dot no 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 instance dot new explosion. So what this does, it's gonna create a new object, and what type of object it's gonna be? It's gonna be an explosion object. Uh, yeah, you can kind of guess what this. Uh, uh, this right here, an explosion. So if I add it right here, um. Let's go. I'm guessing it's gonna be. Oh, wait. Yeah, as you can see right there, that's the explosion we're gonna do. Um, explosion, explosion dot parent equals script dot parent dot main part. 
and explosion dot position equals script dot parent dot main part and that should be it. That's gonna we wait for like three seconds. Uh, we also gotta look at the explosion like thing. Uh, let me go look at this. Uh, explosion destroy. Okay, no, we're gonna do this. Uh, before the explosion even appears, dist dot destroy radius percent dot equals zero. Explosion type careers. No career. Okay, uh, honestly, I don't know. Uh, but we're gonna make this zero. Otherwise, that's gonna be a little bit of a problem. If you are joint, if you have this entire ship joint, did with welds, which can cause the ship to destroy itself with the explosions. Uh, then we wait three seconds. Script dot parent destroy, which basically just deletes the rocket. Let's test it out. Uh, see if it works. Uh, making, I'm making sure if it's recording or not. All right, there it goes. Okay. Got instance. Oh. Done. Position. That was very stupid. <laughs> that was uh, very, very bad of me. There you go, as you can see. Um... Yeah, that's not normal for the fire to still be here. So, let's just copy this. Oh, by the way, add position right here. Um, copy this, and then, by the way, copy this, and uh, disable it. And just change the true to false. Basically, disabling it again. Alright, so, now that you got the rocket... We're gonna pull it in replicated storage. Now it's gonna get funky. So add your distress rocket to the to the ship. Well, not yet, actually. Not yet. Not, not yet. We're gonna make it. Uh, actually, we're not gonna do nothing. We're just gonna size it and just make it look like it's gonna throw out a rocket. There we go. All right. Distress rocket. You know. Uh. We're gonna add a script to this, and we're gonna do while while true do uh, sorry uh, while true do, and then we're gonna add a wait just for it not break. We're gonna do this. We're gonna start it here, right here. So so first we gotta get the rocket, a new rocket. So wait for three seconds. Wait. For for no actually let's wait for like every 10 seconds or so script dot parent uh, local rocket equals oh wait we also need a local rep replicated storage first equals game dot wait no wait Wait, no, no, wait, what was it again? I forgot. Give me a minute. Give me a real good minute. Alright, so, um, I looked into it, and, uh, we have to do this. So, so, local replicated storage equals to game dot replicated storage. And then the rocket, you do replicated storage, wait for child, rocket. Okay, so, well, once you copy that, pause the video if you want to, if you... If you didn't finish copying it, um, we're gonna do rocket dot. Okay, so we're gonna make local new rocket, I guess. Uh, rocket dot. Oh yeah, rocket clone. And this new rocket will be parent will be the script script dot parent, which is the distress rocket right here. And new. Stop. New rocket dot script dot enabled equals to true. Uh, we will disable the script here so it doesn't change anything. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so new rocket dot po yeah position. What the? Hmm. Position. Okay, good. 
script dot uh, parent uh, position. There we go. Um, now let's do it every three seconds for the video's purpose. Don't change it at all. Just uh, let's see if it works. By the way, you should sh you should uh, test it if it works for you. Position is not a valid member. Okay, you know what? Yeah, you know what? Let's not add this. Not add this. No, no, no. Let's just see if it works or not. That yes, if it's yes, then good job. Ah, uh, would you look at that? It works. Uh, yeah. As you can see, it sends a, a rocket and a various loop. Uh, we're gonna make. It, we're gonna make it. Uh, so now that we've done this, uh, let's test it out if the positioning of the rockets work if they don't shoot but yeah okay they don't but uh, that doesn't really matter I guess no actually it really does uh, you know what I'm gonna do this in video I don't really care uh, but this is that's but this is my model anyway so where is it I guess no, no, Lucas. No. There we go. Um. Okay, wait. Hold on. <laughs> okay, let me check this out. Um, let me go steal a little bit of Cody of code. Oh, okay. So. Roll case that C frame. C. Uh, let's see. What? What? I actually am confused. All right, you know what? Let's make. Let's do it like this. Main part dot position. Do this, and then we're gonna copy it again for the. Primary part, not the worst. Very janky, but you know, it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. Uh, now let's move it. Yes, it works nice. As you can see, it works. Yes, yeah, so uh, it works. As you can see, very nice actually. I like it. All right, so we're now we're gonna make it. 15 every 15 seconds uh, local um fired rockets this is gonna be like the limited rockets uh, we're gonna make it let's do about 10 rockets so if fired rockets is does not equal no is less than one no it's gonna be more it's gonna be more than one then we do this and each time we're gonna we fire we're gonna fire rockets dot fire rockets oh yeah minus equals one there we go so let's do it every two seconds just for speed up Oh wait 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 wait! We gotta stop! We gotta stop! We gotta stop the game! We gotta stop the game! I forgot one thing. Uh, we're gonna print the count of how many fired rockets, how many rockets have been fired. I mean, or the fire or the nine rockets, eight rockets, seven. All right, we're just gonna wait until you know. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, what the hell happened? Oh, God. Oh, oh, script timer. Uh, what? Do what? <laughs> um, I don't get it, but okay. Oh, right here, we uh, exhausted it. Yeah, okay. So there we go. Um, 
as you can see, I think it works. No, actually, let's, let's actually, wait, hold on. Let's change the, am I still recording? Yes, I am. Okay, good. I'm going to do it every <laughs> this seconds because I don't really know how much of a second that is. Alright, uh, there we go. It's 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, nice. It works. Good job. Alright, good job. Good job. Good job. Let's go. Alright, that's great. Alright, so. Now, we're gonna attach this to the ship. And, uh, we're gonna. Wait, what code is this anyway? Oh, that's the rocket. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do the sinking. Uh, just wait. We don't have to wait at all for the ship to sink. Start sinking. It's uh, very laggy because the ship is made up of a lot of parts. There's the distress rocket going up. There it goes. That's very nice, honestly. Uh, uh, before you do that, we're going to do... Alright, so, so let's say we want this. So what you're going to do is you're going to do this. And then you want to add like... So this is 60, right? Now, let's add it like 2 minutes. So 60 seconds is obviously 1 a minute. So let's make it 2 minutes. Don't double it. Just make it a little more than than 60. Just make it a little more. No, not more than 60. Just make it more than your time when it sinks. So, yeah. In about 2 minutes, the ship would have... Uh, would have gone the bows would have gone over here which means the boiler rooms and engine would have been flooded already um yeah so there we go um uh, now we're gonna work on the te the telegraph if you know what i mean this telegraph so first thing first um i'm gonna obviously copy this but only just because of the model so let's this paste it here. All right, so there's the macaroni room. Don't know the macaroni wireless. Okay, so we're gonna delete all this and delete this. All right, so we have a macaroni wireless model right here. Now we're gonna add a part right here. And yes, I already know how to do this. Uh, add this part to the macaroni wireless. Call it button. Then you want to add a click to her. Sorry if I'm going a little too fast, but yeah. This video is getting pretty long, so. Um, script. Okay, so. Local click. Local script dot parent. Click. Uh, dot mouse click. Connect. Connect. It doesn't really uh, play. Oh yeah, function click. There we go. Okay, so once it clicks, we do script dot parent dot parent. Oh wait, we're gonna just do click dot parent, which is the click detector. Then you wanna go add. You wanna add a beep, the beep sound. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do this. All right, so let's add this here. Beep dot beep slash play. All right, there. And yeah, that's gonna be the. That's it. That's really it. To be honest. That's gonna really be it. Uh, sorry for the background noise recently. That just happened now. Uh, all right, so if we click this. Yeah, so if we go to the other one, the beeping sound is actually different. But it doesn't matter. You could just do 
any beeping sound if you want. Uh, this only does the dit, or I mean the the dot sound effect. But if you want to make it like that, um, you can just add two buttons, and you can add different sounds to them, which is actually quite simple. I can do that right now, and I will. So let's do this. There, and then you add a second button here. This we're gonna do a long beep. We're gonna do a long beep. Alright, I guess this one will do, because, uh, honestly, the other ones suck. So this is gonna be long. This is gonna be the jaw, which is, a uh, beep. Uh, I actually know a little bit of Morse code. So, yeah, uh, let's say, for example, hi. So let's do that. Wait, when was it? Okay. Yeah, that's high. You can also do wow, so let's do that. Alright, yeah, that's wow in Morse code. So, yeah, that's how you do, um,. Uh, the macaroni wireless room and the uh, distress rockets. So yeah, that's gonna be for this video. I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna say anything more because this video is already too long. Uh, subscribe if you want. Like if you if you like this video or it worked. If it didn't, uh, you can just comment in the description. You can just comment. Uh, your problem and I will probably fix it. What I'm saying probably is because um it could probably have some bugs too. So uh yeah. Uh we can So yeah, um I'm gonna make a Discord server. There's gonna be a link when I when I um uh when I uh when I upload this video. So uh yeah. Uh like and subscribe and uh goodbye.